This might be the future of flight. Silent, clean, and powered not by burning fuel, but by electricity and plasma. Aviation today is a major source of carbon emissions, pushing us to rethink how planes fly. While electric propellers have made strides, they still fall short for long-haul journeys. But what if we could harness a new kind of jet engine that uses ionized air, energized by microwaves, to produce thrust without combustion? A breakthrough from researchers in China hints at this possibility. It's a glimpse into a technology that could reshape aviation forever, blending science fiction with reality. The Challenge of Flight and Emissions Flying has always fascinated me. How a massive machine can soar through the skies, defying gravity. But behind this wonder lies a harsh truth. Aviation is a big polluter. It produces nearly 12% of all carbon emissions in the transport sector. Even worse, planes release up to three times more carbon per mile than a typical petrol car. So it's no surprise that scientists and engineers have been racing to find cleaner ways to fly. Electric planes are the hot topic, promising zero emissions at the source. Most of these use propellers or ducted fans, which spin to push air back and create thrust. These designs are clever because they reduce something called tip losses, the resistance caused by swirling air vortices at blade edges. Ducted fans enclose the blades, stopping those energy-sapping vortices from forming and forcing all airflow where it's needed. But even these have limits. Extra weight and drag from the housing slow them down. And when compared to the raw power of jet engines, electric propellers still struggle to keep up. That's where this new plasma-powered jet idea steps in. How Jet Engines Create Thrust Jet engines are like the heart of modern flight. They work by sucking in air at the front, squeezing it tightly, mixing it with jet fuel, and then setting it on fire. When the fuel-air mix explodes, it heats up and pushes out the back at high speed. This powerful blast of hot air creates the thrust that propels the plane forward. Inside, the rushing air spins turbines that keep the engine running, creating a cycle of power. It sounds simple, but jet engines are marvels of engineering, built to produce huge amounts of force. Electric propellers and ducted fans just can't match this level of thrust yet. The problem is how to turn electricity into the same kind of powerful, fast-moving air blast without burning fuel. That's a tough challenge. This is where a team from Wuhan University stepped in. They've been experimenting with a radical new idea. What if you could create thrust by turning air itself into plasma? Instead of fire, this jet engine uses electricity to heat and ionize the air. The result? A plasma jet that pushes out air with a force similar to a combustion engine, but powered purely by electricity. What is plasma and why does it matter? Plasma might sound like science fiction, but it's actually one of the most common states of matter in the universe. You know solids, liquids, and gases, right? Well, plasma is the fourth state. It's a supercharged gas made of ions and free electrons, atoms stripped of some of their electrons by energy. This gives plasma special properties. It's electrically conductive and reacts strongly to electric and magnetic fields. Think about lightning. That brilliant jagged flash? It's plasma forming in the air. Lightning heats the air so much that it becomes ionized turning it into plasma that can conduct electricity, letting the bolt reach the ground. That same idea is behind this new electric jet engine. Instead of burning fuel to heat air, the researchers use microwaves, the kind that warm your food but far more powerful and focused. These microwaves pump energy into the compressed air, ionizing it and turning it into plasma. Then, an electric spark ignites this plasma heating it further until it expands rapidly. This rapid expansion pushes out the back of the engine, generating thrust. It's like harnessing a tiny lightning bolt to push a plane forward, and it's all electric. How the Plasma Jet Engine Works The core of this new engine is surprisingly simple yet brilliant. Compressed air enters a tube where it meets focused microwaves. These microwaves zap the air, stripping electrons from atoms and creating plasma, a glowing, super-hot gas over a thousand degrees Celsius. 
Then, a small electrical spark ignites this plasma, heating it further. As the plasma heats, it expands rapidly, rushing out the back of the tube. This creates thrust similar to how hot gases push a rocket forward. The key difference? No burning fuel. Instead, electricity powers the process, making it cleaner and quieter. In tests, scientists found this plasma jet produces thrust comparable to a traditional combustion jet engine, at least per square meter of the engine's surface. The experiments ran on a small scale. A lab setup with 400 watts of power generated 11 newtons of thrust. Four newtons came from the compressed air itself, but most of the force was from the energized plasma. Though this is just the beginning, it shows that plasma jets could one day match the power of conventional jets without harmful emissions. It's a peek into a future where electricity replaces fire in flight. Scaling up and what it means for planes. Of course, lab tests don't tell the whole story. The big question is, can this plasma jet work on a scale large enough to power a commercial airplane? The scientists took a bold step and did some math based on their small experiments. Using the power of a Tesla Model S battery pack, which runs at around 310 kilowatts, they calculated this plasma engine could generate about 8,500 newtons of thrust. That's enough to fly a plane weighing around three tons, similar in size to a small commercial jet like a 737, but much lighter. The battery itself would weigh roughly half a ton, leaving about two and a half tons for the rest of the plane, including passengers, cargo, and structure. While this sounds promising, it's important to remember that the energy density of current batteries limits flight time and range. Plus, this estimate doesn't yet include the energy needed to compress the air before it's energized, a step that consumes power too. So the actual range and payload might be less than ideal right now. Still, this research marks an exciting first step. It shows electric plasma jets could one day carry real planes, reducing emissions and changing how we think about flying. Challenges and limitations ahead. Flying on plasma jets sounds amazing, but many challenges lie ahead. One major issue is energy. Today's batteries are heavy and don't hold enough charge for long flights. The Tesla battery used in the study is a good start, but bigger planes will need much better energy storage. Another concern is the electricity needed to compress air before creating plasma. Compressors consume power too, adding to the overall energy demand. The experiments don't fully include this, so real power needs might be higher. Scaling the engine from a small lab model to full size is also uncertain. The researchers haven't yet tested how microwaves behave at larger powers or with bigger airflow. It's unclear if thrust and efficiency will stay the same. Safety and reliability must also be proven. Handling hot plasma inside an engine presents tough engineering challenges. Despite these issues, the technology's potential is huge and future breakthroughs could make it practical. Why this technology matters. Beyond the challenges, plasma jet engines offer huge promise. Aviation produces a significant share of global carbon emissions and cleaner flight solutions are urgently needed. While electric planes have made progress with smaller models and short flights, long haul electric travel remains difficult. If plasma jets can generate strong thrust purely from electricity, they could revolutionize the industry. Planes might fly quietly and without burning fuel, drastically cutting pollution. This technology could also enable new aircraft designs. Without fuel tanks and complex engines, planes could be lighter and simpler. Electric engines have fewer moving parts, potentially reducing maintenance needs. Though early, this innovation feels like a step toward the kind of clean, futuristic flight once thought impossible. It's science and necessity coming together to change how we fly. The road ahead and future possibilities. It's exciting to imagine where plasma jet technology could go. Right now, it's a promising lab experiment, but scaling it to real flights will take time, money, and creativity. Researchers must improve energy storage, engine design, and air compression before plasma jets reach commercial use. History reminds us how fast aviation can advance.
Just over a century ago, the Wright brothers' brief flight sparked rapid progress. Today, we're seeing another leap, a move away from fossil fuels toward clean electric power. In the future, plasma jets might power not only planes, but rockets too. With no combustion gases, they could drive spacecraft on long missions, maybe even to Mars. It's amazing to think lightning science on Earth could launch humanity to other worlds. For now, the journey is just starting. Each step brings us closer to a cleaner, brighter future in the skies and beyond. This new plasma jet technology is still young, but it carries the hope of a cleaner, quieter future for flight. While challenges remain, the idea of turning air into a powerful electric plasma thrust feels like science fiction coming to life. As we push towards sustainable travel and explore new frontiers, innovations like this remind us how far we've come and how much further we can go. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the future of aviation. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories from the cutting edge of technology.